Good evening, and welcome to Bible Practice. My name is Mike, and uh, today my day has been, I finally broke down, I had to go to the doctor, and um, they gave me some antibiotics and and some uh, cough medicine and checked my lungs and gave me a lung treatment. So, uh, thank you, Jesus. Kind of slowed me down, and uh, it's a good thing in that. Sometimes I get to going too fast, and he wants me to slow down and just be with him more. No rush with him. I have um, inspiration today. It's really um, one that hit me a lot, and um, I'd like to share it with everybody. And um, <clears throat> the words that were inspired from the Bible, the Bible passages are from Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Isaiah 61, verse 10, Psalm 31, verse 16, and Psalm 107, verse 8. <coughs> and uh, this is, uh, makes you think sometimes, what are we all doing? <laughs> okay. Anyway, the words say this. I love you regardless of how well you are performing. Imagine that. Huh? We don't have to perform for him. No, we don't even have to perform for him. Sometimes you feel uneasy, wondering if you are doing enough to be worthy of my love. No matter how exemplary your behavior, the answer to that question will always be no. So it doesn't matter if you're doing the greatest work in the world. It still doesn't matter. His love is always there. <clears throat> Your performance and my love are totally different issues, which you need to sort out. That's a good one for all of us. I love you with an everlasting love that flows out from eternity without limits or conditions. I have clothed you in my robe of righteousness, and this is an eternal transaction. Nothing and no one can reverse it. Therefore, your accomplishment as a Christian has no bearing on my love for you. That's an interesting thing. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Even your ability to assess how well you are doing on a given day is flawed. Your limited human perspective and the condition of your body with its mercantile uh, variations, distorts your evaluations. Bring your performance anxiety to me. And receive in its place my unfailing love. Try to stay conscious of my loving presence with you in all that you do, and I will direct your steps. Praise God. It's a great, uh, a great inspiration because really, so many people think you have to do all these things in order for God to love you. They have it wrong. It's not the way it is. These words tell you that. And those Bible passages, if you read them, will tell you that. <coughs> so, something we, need, we should all think about. I know I'm going to think about it. And uh, maybe uh, alter some of my, my uh, things I do. You know, no matter what we're doing, okay, whether I'm playing music, usually when I'm playing music, I'm talking to the Lord. I say, Lord, what song should I play next? Whatever comes into my mind, that's the song I play. And I, sometimes I mess that up, and then, but I'll see if I follow, if I can follow that more and practice that more, then he knows the crowd. He knows the people out there and what they want to hear and what they'd like to hear. So he can, can he's, he's still in control of everything. The world never never understood that. You know, so we got to try to anyway. Well, look at have a great day, and I'm gonna rest and try to get better. They got me on uh, lever leverquin and some uh, cough syrup, so I got ten days, and hopefully it'll clear my situation make me feel a little bit better. I switched off to all water now. I
drink nothing but water. I figure, look, at God made the water. Man has added everything to this liquid to make money for themselves. Do the things they make taste good? Do they, you know, are they tasting? Well, they are. Sodas and all kinds of other sports drinks and all kinds of added stuff to them. They're great. But God just made water. He might have inspired somebody to make something else, but I'd rather drink the water. The water cleanses your system. That's just my choice. Not something God told me to do, but it's what I'm doing anyway. So anyway, Josh, have a great day. Anthony, brother, love you. We'll talk soon. Everybody else. I don't have to. some names just phew, they go right out of my mind. Um, anyway, everybody, God bless you. Love you. Have a great day. Bye bye.